I've played plenty of Call of Duty. You don't need to kill the Wolverine. That's fine. We must realize that no arsenal or no weapon in the arsenals of the world is so formidable as the will and moral courage of free men and women. It is a weapon our adversaries in today's world do not have. Let that be understood by those who practice terrorism and prey upon their neighbors. Some U.S. intelligence analysts believe America is already in a state of war with the Soviet Union. Are Soviet spies living among us? 52 American citizens have been taken hostage at the American Embassy in Tehran. An unnamed White House official claims that a Cold War disaster could be just around the corner. Mr. President, we have two names linked to the hostage situation. Arash Karavar and Kasim Javadi. Just give the word. It's time to send a message. There will be no more hostages. This is gonna be sick. You sure we can trust the police, Adler? This guy's done more for less. He'll look the other way. Oh, we're playing as Adler. <laughs> Adler? Glad you could join us, Hans. You remember this. We cleared a move on a target. <gasps> you play as I see his apartment, Alex but it's well protected. Can keep my men out of the area for yes. 15 minutes. So I hope you brought an army. We brought enough. Pleasure doing business with you, Hans. <laughs> Come on. Woods is itching for a dust stop. We don't want to let him down. We're on the clock, Woods. It's not the same way. Oh, wow. Hey, Mason. Party favors are in the trunk. Dipshit probably thinks he's safe. That piece of trash is a lot of things. It's safe, ain't one of them. Take this son of a bitch alive, Adler. Kasim has info we need. Everyone else can take a powder. Apartment's just up ahead. Hans only bought us 15 minutes. We need to hit Kasim hard and fast. Let's go. Let's help him bring in the new year. Light him up, Mason. Go, go, go!
Wait. Oh. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. I, I just handle the money? I have no idea where Arashi is. I don't think you understand the situation. Ah! You Americans have rules? You have rules! You took hostages. The rules changed. Wait! Wait! He's in Turkey! He's meeting someone in Trabzon Airfield tomorrow night! One down, one to go. I get the next. Hudson, Arash is in trap zone, Turkey. Kasim is out of the picture. How long before we get Arash? The team arrived in Turkey a few hours ago. They should be in position shortly. Turkey trapped on airfield. Oh, yes. This is, uh... Airfield's just up ahead. Let's go find this shithead. <laughs> Priorities to ID a rock when things go hot. Why don't I get a silence? Look at this. I'm playing campaign. What does this remind you of right here? One second, chat. Fat. Caitlin! Katie, wait! I'm trying to fix something. Something, something, if I let it down. Gina, baby, you're so stinking. Something, something, you're so stinking, baby. Something, something, you're so stinking, baby. K-A-I-T-L-Y-N Just look! Okay, I'm just gonna stop it. You're taking too long. Mason, check it out. Any sign of Barrage? That's not him. Nope. Incoming truck. Left side. Get eyes on it, Mason. Arash might be in the truck. Get to that truck! 
1943. Detailed information from the Manhattan Project was stolen from Los Alamos by the Russian spy known as Perseus. 1968. Vietnam War. Viet Cong soldiers orchestrated by Perseus attempted to steal an American-made nuclear bomb from a U.S. firebase. Five days ago, while on a mission, we acquired intel that Perseus is in play again and planning an attack on the West. Perseus. The CIA's analysts consider him to be the single largest threat to the free world. Mr. Hudson, we're all aware of Perseus. We're also aware he's more myth than fact. I mean, personally, I think he's nothing more than the Russian boogeyman. General Haig, allow me to introduce the man. Oh, look, it's Hudson! Sue the respond to that. <laughs> CIA, clandestine special <laughs> officer, Rosalanda. He's one of the few people who even come close to capturing Perseus. Uh, Mr. Adler, why should we take this Perseus threat seriously? You don't have to, sir. <laughs> yeah, then a lot of innocent people are gonna die. Why do you say that? Sir, every time Perseus has come into play, it shifted the balance of the Cold War. And after 13 years of silence, if he's active, something big is gonna happen. Hey! Something that will affect the free world. President, this is Jason Hudson and Russell Adler. I know their names. Who do you think approved their last mission? Is the threat real? Yes, sir, we believe it is. Can you stop Perseus? We can, sir. I've already submitted the requisition for my team. Sir, their requests are highly irregular. Most likely illegal. If the press gets a hold... What the hell are you talking about? You know who we are? Every mission we go on is illegal. Sergeant Woods, plausible deniability is the backbone of our work. Al, we're talking about preventing an attack on the free men and women of the world. Give Mr. Adler whatever he wants. Gentlemen, 
You've been given an important task. Protecting our very way of life from a great evil. There is no higher duty. There is no higher honor. And while few people will know of your struggles, rest assured, the entire free world will benefit. I know you won't fail us. This is Hudson. How long until we have a lead on Perseus? They're about to get started. Adler's in West Berlin. He should be at the safe house soon. Do you trust him? <laughs> I'm not the one you should be asking, Black. What about his team? It's a strong group. He chased down Sims, Azalei, even pulled some strings to get Helen Park from MI6. We'll get them Mason and Wood soon. I'm not so sure about Park. She and Adler had that business from before. Of course he wants her there. And the new one. Well, well, don't get me started. That's the one we need to keep our eyes on. This is awesome. <laughs> First name, um, Gilster. Gilster. Detective. Gilly. Oh, they're Gilly. Up on the air, yes. Let my skin to color, do you like that? I'm Gully the Savage. <laughs> Bell, welcome to West Berlin. Oh, yeah, we're in Russia now. We've got a job to do. Park. Adler. Bell. Where's my name, Bell? Come on. Gully the Savage. Let's get started. Just gonna be classified There's been a surge in Russian stuff. chatter in the last 48 hours. The CIA and the DOD are tapping their inside sources for anything substantial. So far, there are no leads on Perseus. MI6 has come up empty-handed as well. And we'll have to start somewhere. So we're going back here. Vietnam, 1968. One of our closest encounters with Perseus. Shit. Some part of me always knew that mission wasn't done with us. Pull up everything we've got on the attack at Denang and run it past Park. She'll cross-reference it with MI6. We're looking for code names, encrypted transmission, Russian activity with NVA, anything that could be a lead. Good. Bell, this is where you come in. We needed the best of the CIA and SOG. That's exactly why I requested you again. Head to the evidence board. Trace our steps through Denang. Anything that could give us a lead on Perseus.
All right, Bell. We're going back to Vietnam. First time Perseus pinged our radar. It was late January 68. We were a joint CIA SOG task force embedded within the 3rd Marine Regiment near Da Nang. SOG was there to sniff out Soviet activity. And word had it, Russian operatives were active in the region. Perseus had no known presence in Vietnam. That changed at Da Nang. Somehow, Perseus knew about Operation Fracture Jaw. Fracture Jaw? That one sure went sideways. We launched out of Camp Haskins. Yeah, I'll never forget that shit. Good. We want those memories. No details too small. A face, a name. We're looking for anything that can lead us to Perseus. This feels like looking for a needle in a haystack, in a field of haystacks. Maybe, but that needle's somewhere. Remember, we had a job to do. Caitlin, what are we having for lunch? What can we have? Do you all hear that music? <laughs> that reminds me of Black Ops 1 for some reason. When you're going down on the motorboat and you're shooting everyone in the motorboat. Remember that chat? <laughs> oh. Fracture jaw. That one sure went sideways. Bell, it's time to wake up. It's great time. Yep, this is this reminds me of Black Ops One. Oh, yeah. Gilly Bell Staff. Sims, you know reading that shit's gonna make you go blind. Yep. That's why I wanted all up here. Belt, you're with Sims. You usually bring out the best in each other. We got a new assignment. FOB4 Ripcord is holding a vital asset. Charlie wants real bad. What kind of asset are we talking about? The kind you don't ask about. Ripcord has been taking a hell of a beating. So it's our job to secure the asset and get the fuck out. Relax, we got okay. fast flyers providing combat air support for this mission. It'll be a walk in the park. Headsets on. All birds check in when ready. Badger Niner 1, good to go. Badger Niner 2, clear to go. Badger Niner 3, rotors up. All birds, go, go, go. Crank up and pull pitch. All birds are in the air. You all sitting comfortably? Oh, man, what? Adler. Why do I get the feeling you about to give us some bad news? Because you're a smart guy, Sims. Hot pocket. But the news isn't bad. In fact, no. it could be very, very good. The asset of Ripcord is going to have to wait a little while. We're breaking off from the Armada, taking a detour. And... That's good because yeah, guys, the source that tipped us off that there may be a heavy hitter in town, and a Soviet operative known as Perseus. Oh, shit. Appreciate the enthusiasm, Sims. If our source is right, we could be looking at an Intel gold mine. This is exactly what it reminds me of. First time Perseus pinged our radar. Approaching the village now. Roger that. We're going to establish an LZ. RPG! Up two, let him up.
It's on you, Vel. Open the door. Adler, we confirmed it. Soviets on site. You sure? Well, I'm staring at two bodies that sure as hell don't look Vietnamese to me. Vel, grab that comms log. Let's see who the fuck they've been talking to. Mission accomplished. We have the intel. Let's bug out. Good work. Hang on to that intel. We're coming in to pick you up. All right, let's go rejoin the Armada and get this fucking asset.
So watch yourselves. Roger that, Ripcord. You Adler? Mac V. Sog? Yeah, yeah, just hurry the fuck up already. Yes, sir. Thank you. Don't thank me. Thank Bell. He's the one who just snagged up the fucking phone book full of Soviet intel. Let's go. Now. Godspeed, Commander. A fucking noob? Are you fucking kidding me, Adler? It's a failsafe. That's all you need to know. Be that desperate already. Not yet. We can call this a success, Sims. At least the nuke didn't go off. More importantly, we got intel on Perseus. Told you we had a job to do. It ain't done yet, not by a long way. Uh, oh. Four hours later, okay. Yeah. How did the memory exercise go? Well, to hear it from Adler, it's working. Bell remembered finding that encrypted intel in Vietnam and has almost finished decoding it. Anything useful in there? Some names, apparently. Possible leads. Park is trying to connect the dots. We don't have much time. Does the team know about our mishap in Berlin yet? No, but if it's connected to one of those names from Bell, they'll find out soon enough. You won't let that happen, Hudson. Don't say anything more than necessary. That's never been a problem for me. Are the taquitos in the oven? God darn. We finished analyzing the names Bell acquired at Da Nang. One in particular stands out. Anton Volkov. He's a Russian arms dealer working out of East Berlin. Admittedly, his connection to Perseus comes as a surprise. We've got killer capture orders on Volkov. So if we can't get to Perseus, we'll get to his men. Close off his resources, 
force him out of hiding. Mason and Woods are still wrapping up business in Kiev. Which means Volkov is ours. Gear up, and we'll move out. MI6 has been tracking Volkov for several years. It is my strong preference that we attempt to capture rather than kill him. He holds on to his... I think I'm gonna be done with the campaign. Well, bye guys.